What's up, everyone? Okay, I think we're live. What's up, Maria? Okay, for this topic, I was going to try to cover a few topics today. <clears throat> I was doing some research for one of my upcoming videos, and I was going to look into printing um, actual furniture. Um, there's a few companies right now. I'm going to try to share my screen so you guys can see what I'm saying. Let's see. What's up, Edwin? If I can share my screen, I'll show you my phone, but let me see if I can do this. So there's one guy on Etsy right now, and let me see if I can show you that. It's like, one second here. I'm gonna try to make a full screen. Close tab, okay. Let me make this full screen one second here, F11. What's up everybody? Okay, so. I'm trying to get this to focus, but you can see he has like these really cool, like 3D printed designs here. And it's a little bit out. Okay, there we go. It's slightly in focus. And I was thinking of making something like, well, not exactly like this, but this is a really cool chair this guy made. And the only problem is when you print something this big, you have to print it in pieces. This one's really cool too. Um, but this guy charges like $500, which I mean, honestly, it's expensive to make stuff this big. So I get it, but I might make like a coffee table or something to try to experiment and see like what I can make smaller before I get into the bigger stuff. What's up everybody. Hey, Hex, what's up, man? Rohan, Edwin, what's up everybody? No, you're right on time. I just started a couple minutes ago. And today I'm covering 3D printed furniture. I think that would make for a cool video. I think I'm probably going to start with the chair. And then if that goes well, like build out a coffee table and kind of like expand on that. But I'm thinking it's probably going to take like at least three to four days to print the, um, the chair out. So I might break that up into like two videos, depending on how long it takes. Um, but yeah, I wanted to get your feedback too. Like if there's any other like practical furniture, um, I think a chair would probably be super practical, but if you guys had any, any ideas for like other stuff I could print, I think there's um, a really cool table this guy 3D printed too. I'm trying to pull it up right now. 3D printed table. Yeah, if you're ever bored, just go on Etsy and there's a lot of sellers making really cool stuff. A lot of it is really expensive, so you probably want to try to make it yourself versus purchasing it. Let me see here. Oh, this is really cool too. So this is a 3D printed lamp. And let me see if it'll focus. Okay, it's not really focusing. <laughs> Let's see here. I'm trying to make this full screen for you. Maybe that's a little better. Let's see if I get this. Okay, that's a little better. But maybe like a super sized lamp would be kind of cool. <laughs> a car is practical. Yeah, a car that would probably take three to six months to print a car. And then you have to do the motor, the, the drivetrain, all that stuff. Uh, there have been a couple companies that have 3D printed cars before. Um, they're just really expensive to make and they take a lot of time. What's up, Edwin? Appreciate it. Yeah, there's like, I might 3D print a go kart. There's one channel, um, I forget his name, but if you type in 3D printed go kart, uh, a guy made a 3D printed Lego go-kart that's pretty cool. So that might be something I do later. I think that would probably take like, excuse me, like one to two months to print like a go-kart. I was actually thinking about doing like 3D printed uh, Legos, like make a super size like Lego chair or something like that. The only problem though with Legos is they're really like sharp. So I'd have to use a cushion or something to make it practical. What's up, Rohan? Awesome. And that's something too, I was considering like you could print out of like a flexible rubber material, but I'd have to figure out how to do that because you're making a chair or something that's going to be supportive. You want it to be firm, but also comfortable. So I might try to print out of two different types of material, like make the foundation of the chair out of like PLA or ABS, like a harder plastic, and then maybe like 3d print, like some air cushions out of a flexible material. 
Oh, 3D printed Lamborghini. There is a guy that did that. Um, I think it's a father and son team. I think they're in Texas actually, but they 3D printed a whole Lamborghini, which is pretty cool. Have you seen the solar eclipse? Uh, no, I'm in LA. So like we only saw, well, I didn't see it, but I think it was like a partial eclipse here. So I didn't get the glasses. I don't want to like burn my eyes out trying to see it. Oh, it took them 10 years. Yeah. I think the son and the dad that printed the Lamborghini had like two small printers. So they had to like divide the car up into like little pieces of the model and print that over time. So that was like a really big project for them. And it was really expensive. Uh, 3D printed yo-yo. Let me write that down. I don't think I did that yet, but I'll write that down right now on my phone. <clears throat> 3D printed yo-yo. I'll do that for an upcoming short. Yeah, you guys have a lot of good ideas for shorts. Like I still have like 20 ideas I have to get to. So I have 3D printed yo-yo. I have that down. Yeah, and there is, let me see. Oh, yo-yo. Yeah, there's a lot of people asking for the yo-yo right now. I'm going to try to do more games. I want to do, um, I don't think I've done Battleship yet. That's a good one I can do. Um, I have a couple other games I'm working on that I don't want to say just yet. But yeah, did you guys see the Eclipse? I think it was just a North America thing. I'm not sure if anybody got to see it in Europe, but they went that way. Oh, yes, play a game. Yeah. Yeah, no, I did um, Connect Four and a few other board games, but I might do some like bigger games. Like, I did, I did chess already, a three D printed chess. But I might do something like uh, Monopoly or something bigger like that with like a fold out board. I think that would be kind of cool. Oh, play a game like Call of Duty. Um, maybe eventually I might eventually do a gaming channel. But right now I'm just trying to focus on this channel before I like split my focus in too many other directions right now. Happy birthday, Jaden. What's up? Yeah, no, I see a lot of YouTubers, though. They have, like, gaming channels, which looks, like, fun. I just am so busy right now with this channel. It would take a lot of time to, like, put out a lot of gaming content. Even though it would be fun, I just feel like my time is best spent on this channel right now. Um, so right now, I haven't played any games recently, but I was really into um, a game called Apex Legends, which is kind of like a Battle Royale game. And then I played um, Battlefield 2042, which came out a little bit ago. But that's kind of a fun game. I actually did the um, the Rubik's Cube video. I think it's like maybe two or three months ago. But if you search uh, my name and 3D printed Rubik's Cube, I think it'll come up. Yeah, that's a fun one. There were, there were a few other games I wanted to do, like um, maybe even like a deck of cards. But it'd be like a really thick deck of cards. Oh, thank you, Lucky. I appreciate the sub. Oh, something else I was going to mention was I'm working on an actual product. And I don't want to give it away just yet because I'm still like working on the design. But it's a tool that I think would be kind of useful for everyday use. But I'm still in the design phase. Hopefully, in like a week or two, I'll have the design kind of like finalized. But I'll probably show you guys on the live probably like next week once I get it further along. Um, can I sub you? Sure. No, you can sub to me. Edwin <laughs> with the face. Yeah. So once I get the design like figured out and I show you guys, I'll, I'll try to get your feedback. And then if everybody likes it, I'll probably put it on like a store and I want to list it really cheap. Like I don't want this to be an expensive tool, but, um, I'll try to like create like a Squarespace store or something where I could do like a test run, like a small batch to see if people like it. And then if people like it, I can kind of like have them produce and scale. Make a desk. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that could be one. So I think for the first build, I'll probably do like um, a chair or coffee table. And then if I get that figured out, I could do like bigger stuff like a desk. And it'd be fun to have like a whole 3D printed room of furniture. It'd be kind of funny. Um, and I am working on today's video. I'm doing the 3D printed knife, which actually, let me grab it quick. It's behind me. So this video, this is one that I shot most of last week. I just have to shoot a couple more shots today. 
but we're testing these 3D printed K-bar knives against the real knife. And we did the throwing test. So we threw this into um, a cardboard box of like 10 feet. And it actually did really well, surprise. Only the tip was damaged. This is a new one, but the tip was damaged just a little bit. But we have that in high speed video. Um, so we'll show that later. But yeah, no, we have to do a couple more tests with this. We're going to do like a cutting test where we cut like food with it. Uh, and then I think it'd be funny if we do like a, um, like a simulated attack with like a 3D printed knife just to see like what it could do. Because obviously it's kind of brittle, but it's still kind of pointy. So, you know, you wouldn't want to get poked with it. So that I'll do that after this video. Uh, 3D printed knife, yes, that video should be out. I'm trying to do it tonight, so I just got to do a couple more shots after this live. 3D printed pan, yeah, I feel like that would be kind of like not that great after I turn the heat on. Uh, try something with drawers like a dresser. That could be a good one. You could actually 3D print um, guide rails into your furniture, which would be kind of cool. Oh, 3D printed shoes. I did um, the Crocs. I think they're somewhere. I don't know. Well, they're right there, actually, if you look right there. They're not super practical because we put motors in them to raise them up and down. Excuse me. But it was kind of a funny video. Um, 3D printed gun. YouTube is kind of sensitive with the word gun, so I don't really like to put that word into my video titles. But we did a 3D printed rubber band blaster right there. You can see like the handle of it right there. I might do other versions of that. I just got to be really careful with the way I word it because YouTube doesn't like that word for some reason. Um, slippers. Actually, I could do that. Let me write that down. 3D printed slippers. That's a good one. 3D printed slippers. Yeah, that'd kind of be, um, that'd be an easy build. Just printing flip-flops. Oh, Nike's. 3D printed money. I did a, uh, I think I did a quarter a while back when we tested it on a gumball machine. That was kind of a fun build. Um, but we might do like other coins and test them out. I, I have to test them out on stuff that I own because I can't be printing like fake money <laughs> and using it on real stuff. A car mount. I could do that. So I think there's actually a lot of models right now online that I could download. So I could look into doing that. In an upcoming video, I could do like a 3D printed um, car mount versus a real one. Some of those car mounts get super expensive. I was looking at one for my iPhone and on Amazon, like it's like $50 for the high end models. Uh, 3D printed chair. I can do the chair. I just think it's going to take a minute for me to um, print that because it's such a big thing. So right now, I print most of my stuff on the bamboo printer, bamboo carbon. And it has a build area, meaning like the max dimensions I can print on is like 12 inches by, I think 12 inches or a little bit more. So a chair, as you know, is pretty tall. So I'll have to divide that print up into multiple sections. Candy dispenser. That'd be a fun one. Candy dispenser. I'll write that down. Let's see. Candy dispenser. Oh, 3D printed you. I did a 3D printed human video, like I think six months ago. And that video was kind of fun. It took a while. It took like two weeks to make that video. Okay, we have 3D printed candy dispenser. I have that written down. Phone stand. Yeah, that would be you know, another easy one, a phone stand. Let's see. I actually did a ping pong ball in my last short. So if you go to my feed right now on uh, YouTube, you'll see where I posted a, a 3D printed ping pong ball. I saw some people are printing like actual soccer balls, which are kind of cool. I might do that later. Zip tie. I don't think I've done a zip tie. Let me try that. Let me write that down. I don't know if anybody's made a label or um, a model for that yet, but if not, I could try making one. Let's see. Okay, I have that 3D printed zip tie. That's a good idea. I want to try to do more practical builds because I think those videos are the most interesting if you could 3d print something that is actually useful like in everyday life <laughs> 3d printed tv 
I could do like probably an enclosure for a TV, but I have to buy the electronics to basically build a TV, but that's an option too. 3D printed backpack, that's not a bad idea. Let me write that down. 3D printed backpack. 3D printed backpack, that'd be a fun one. Oh, yeah, whenever you deal with like dangerous stuff like bombs or anything like that, YouTube definitely looks over your channel to make sure it's okay. I think it would be fun though if I did like a bunch of 3D printed tools and then had like a 3D printed like survival challenge video, like a long form video, that might be fun to watch. Uh, tripod, I could do that. I guess I'd have to figure out like how big to make it. 3D printed flag, that's a good option too. I'd probably have to print a couple different flags. Jewelry, I did see a channel make um, 3D printed gold jewelry by making molds. So what he did is he 3D printed like a ring and then he made a mold of it by like putting it in sand and creating a cast of it. But that's a really cool build too. 3D printed pen, I think I did that. I think I did a simple design like six months ago for the pen, but I could do like maybe a, a more complicated pen, maybe one that has like multiple colors or like, like a fountain pen or something, that could be good. I'll write that down though, so don't forget. 3D printed pen. Yeah, that'd be a cool video. Oh, 3D printed Pokemon. Let me show you something. Speaking of Pokemon, I'm printing this for a friend of mine. Let me show you this. <laughs> okay, he's in pieces right now. So, okay, I'll show you one piece of it. You guys can guess what it is. So this is part of the design. This is just a piece of it, of the Pokemon that I'm printing. So I'll start putting it together and see if you guys can guess it. So this is this is part of the back of the Pokemon. And once I pull out the, the face, you'll probably get it pretty fast. Okay, this is the face. <laughs> He's not done yet. His eyes aren't done. I have to do a little piece for his lips, but you probably figured it out. But this is a one-to-one -one scale. And then I have his little hands, which I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> But yeah, that should be done in the next couple days. I have most of the big parts printed, but I'm still finishing up his uh, his stomach area. But that will probably be done probably in the next, like, three days or so. Um, a filament that's stretchy. Oh, there's so many filaments. Let me... I think TPU is a stretchy filament, but there's, like, Ninja Flex. There's a bunch of filaments that you can use that are kind of stretchy. It just kind of depends what you're looking for. 3D printed Bowser. <laughs> yeah, I would like to do some more um, like figures from video games. I just have to figure out like how I would incorporate that into a short. I guess I could do like a 3D printed Bowser versus a real Bowser and like show the footage next to like the video game or something. That might be cool. Uh, can you show one of the coolest 3D printed products? Sure. So. Let me grab something off the wall. So this, which I don't know if you saw the video, this is a uh, 3D printed survival bow. So how it works is you can actually put like a little laser sight right here, but you put the arrow through the center of this and then, well, kind of works like this. You put your hands through the mount like this, and you pull it back. I'm not doing it straight. You can pull it back like this, and then you can launch your arrow. So I thought this was really cool because this is a really simple design, and you can print basically like a little miniature bow and arrow out of this. And you can even put like a laser sight right here if you wanted to. So I thought that was that was pretty cool. And I didn't design this. There's another artist that I tagged in the short that actually made this design. He does a lot of cool prints like this, but that's really cool. Um, 3D printed helmet. I would like to do a Iron Man helmet. I think that would be really cool. That's probably going to take like a day or two to print though. So maybe in the future. 
3D printed action figure. Um, I am kind of doing the Pokemon right now, so that will that might count as an action figure. Helmet. Let me write that down. I might do the helmet one soon. Helmet. That's a good one. Drone. I did a drone actually not too long ago. I think it's that little tiny one right there. Actually, let me show you it. That was kind of cool. So this one right here. This is the drone. So this is basically a little micro drone and the frame is all 3D printed. And then I just use a rubber band to hold the electronics of the drone into it. And it's actually performed better than the real one because it weighs so little, it can fly longer, which is kind of cool. Oh, 3D printed gold play button. Yeah, I've got the play button right behind me there. I still have to do that video. I, I haven't forgotten. I just have to get around to printing that. Um, let's see. Oh, pause for a plant. Yeah, I made a note of that. There's a guy that actually makes like fake 3D printed plants, which is kind of funny. So I actually have a note to print 3D printed plants. It's kind of cool. There was one guy I saw, he made um, it's like a fake plant, but it has leaves that actually you can store pens inside. So that was kind of a cool design. 3D printed fidget spinner. I actually have that. I think I have that up here already, the fidget spinner. So the fidget spinner. Ah, let me grab it. It's really stuck on the wall. Uh, okay. This is the fidget spinner. So this I did, this is one of my first videos, but this one, it kind of works, but to make it really work better, I would have to um, put some weights like in the, on the edge of it, because right now it's not that heavy. So you'll spin it, but it's going to slow down a lot faster than the real one, which I don't know where that one is right now, but it's really cool because these are all printed in place. Meaning this was all printed in one go. I didn't have to assemble it. And each one of these little round pieces actually spin. So you can like spin it like this or from the center. So it's kind of cool. Uh, 3D printed toy car. I haven't done that yet, but I can do that. Chess set. I actually did the chess set. That's like right there, the 3D printed chess set. Hey, before I leave, you can say my name. What's up, Lucky? Thanks for stopping by. 3D printed paperclip. I haven't done that yet. Let me put that on the list. 3D printed paperclip. Let's see. Okay, we have that on the list. 3D printed pillow. Yeah, I could do that. I think I'd have to use like a flexible filament for that because yeah, you don't want to sit on like a hard pillow. 3D printed action figure. I'm working on the action figure right now. I'm doing the, the Pokemon build right now. Taryn, what's up, Taryn? Thanks for stopping by, Lucky. Yeah, so this is the new schedule. I'm going live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7. So I'm going to try to keep that schedule unless something weird comes up. 3D printed spider. That could be a fun one. I just don't want to test it against the real spider. That might be bad. Do a benchy. I don't know if I did a benchy yet. I could do that. I just feel like it might be hard to compare it against the real benchy because the real benchy is 3D printed. So that might be kind of funny. But I can look into that. Karen, I think we just shouted you out like five minutes ago. <laughs> What's up? Uh, oh, no worries. Yeah. Whenever I make a video, I try to think of like how I can compare it against a real thing. I might be able to compare like 3D printed stuff with other 3D printed stuff. I just have to figure out a format where it's like makes sense to make that comparison. <laughs> 3D printed Mr. Beast face. Yeah, <clears throat> that could be a funny one. Yeah. Yeah, I did one face build. Well, you can kind of see the face right there. It's the AI versus human video I did. And I think that video is called 3D printed human versus real or something like that. But that build right there, that took me like 
I think two weeks to complete because we had to print the whole head, install motors in it. So the head moved back and forth. It took forever to get that right. 3D printed cup. Um, I don't know if I did that. Let me write that down. Oh, I think I did actually. I think I did a 3D printed cup and I like tried putting it over an open fire and it melted, of course. But see, if you ever go on TikTok, there's this video of these people making like soup or something over an open fire, which you, you would think the bag would break. Like if you look the video up on YouTube, you'll see it. But these people basically make this like camp and they have the stick going through this like bag full of water. And I don't know what type of plastic they're using, but they have it over an open flame and it's not breaking the plastic open, which is kind of strange. Uh, 3D printed Rubik's Cube. Yeah, we did that. That's actually the one colorful item right there. Yeah, so that's the 3D printed Rubik's Cube right there that we did a while back. 3D printed lightsaber. I don't know. I don't know if I did that one yet. I'm not sure. I think I might have done. So I have the real lightsaber right here. Oh, I, I did a 3D printed Lego lightsaber versus real. This is the real one right here. But I could do like an actual 3D printed lightsaber versus a real one. That could be a fun video. Yeah, this one is like super heavy. <laughs> I want to get more though. There's like a couple lightsabers I don't have that I want to collect later. <laughs> I can never end here 3D printed wins. Oh yeah. Sorry about that, but that's like the clip I have to put at the end of the video. 3D printed spoon. I actually have that written down, but let me double check. 3D printed spoon. 3D printed spoon. Yeah, that'd be a funny video <laughs> with the spoon. What's up, Zemi? You're watching from Russia. That's cool. Okay. Because I don't understand make a heart if you read this. Okay. We'll do a heart. How's it going over there? Yeah, I have some friends that are Russian YouTubers and I feel bad because there's I think there's sanctions, which kind of sucks because if you're a YouTuber, like you can't really control where you're streaming at it. So it's really rough over there. Hopefully everything gets better. Um, 3D printed Lego piece with special connections. Um, what do you mean by special connections, like different than the normal Legos? I could look into that, but I'm not quite sure I understand what you're saying right there. 3D printed plates, that could be an easy build. I could do that. 3D printed game console. Uh, Maybe I could do like maybe a Raspberry Pi enclosure and try to like build something for that maybe. 3D printed toy car. Let me write that down, toy car. I don't think I've done that yet, but I definitely can give it a try. 3D printed toy car. 3D printed compass. Okay, I don't think I've done that before. Let me write that down. 3D printed compass. I speak a little bit of English, but it's the sound. Oh, awesome. Well, thank you for stopping by, Zemi. Do I prefer the GTX 1080 or the RTX 3080? Personally, I still have a 1080 in my main gaming computer. Uh, the 3080 should perform much better. So if you can afford it, get the 3080. But honestly, the 1080 can play most games anyways, just fine. Special Live. Yes, so I'm going live every Tuesday and Thursday at 7, my time. So this is the new schedule. Like bigger pieces. Oh, okay. So like make Legos with like bigger, I guess, connection points. I could do that. Can I do a 3D printed Lego? What's your name? <laughs> my name is Michael Pick, just like my channel name. Oh, like Hot Wheels. Yeah, no, I could do a Hot Wheels car. I guess I just have to figure out some tests. Maybe we do like some speed tests, like drop it down a ramp to see which one's faster. That could work. 3D printed dragon statue. I could do that. I just have to figure out how to test that. 3D printed diamond play button. I can definitely 
print the diamond play button, but unfortunately I don't have a diamond play button right now. It's going to be a minute before I get that. Yeah, I need to get 9 million more subs before I get the real one. So I'm working on it. But maybe one day. 3D printed dragon. Yeah, I can do a dragon. Like I said, I just don't know how I'll compare it with a real dragon. I need to find one. 3D printed tooth. I think I did a toothbrush video a while back. So somewhere, let me show you that. I think I have that way up here. So the toothbrush, this is a toothbrush. So I wouldn't recommend really using this unless you had to, but this is the, uh, the toothbrush. And I mean, it kind of works, but it would probably hurt your mouth if you had to use it. Let me see if I can focus that. Yeah, it's like, it's pretty rough. So I wouldn't use that unless you had to. 3D printed Mr. Beast logo. Maybe. I think that guy gets so much stuff. He honestly is probably sick of people <laughs> sending him free content. 3D printed chicken. I could do that. I probably couldn't eat it though. 3D printed tennis racket. I could probably do a mini tennis racket because right now I can only print like in sizes this big, like 10 inches by 10 inches right now. So I could do that. Hello Avengers. What's up? Yeah. I saw one YouTuber a while back. He did a 3d printed rocket golf club, which was really cool. And he put like a rocket motor in the end of the golf club. That was kind of a cool build. 3D printer baseball bat. Yeah, I could do that. I would just have to like print in parts and maybe like glue it together so it won't break. Dude boy. Happy birthday, dude boy. Balloon inflator. I could try that. I'm not sure how I'd make that actually. A balloon inflator. 3D printed RC car. I have that written down for the car, so I'll try doing that soon. Oh, you love the 3D printed nuke video? Yeah, let me see if I can grab it. So the nuke is actually <laughs> on the wall right now. So so this is the nuke. You have to be careful with it. So this is <laughs> the nuke. And it actually looks pretty cool. I have the real nuke. Let me get, let me grab the real one maybe. Well, one sec, let me grab that. It's right over here. Okay, so this is the real nuke. And you can kind of see, it kind of broke when I did the video. So like, but they look pretty similar. Like if you compare them, they're really close. But here, like when I did that, it actually broke into pieces. So I had to glue it. So if you see right there, this whole top broke off. And let me see the bottom here. Yeah, it's like it broke into a bunch of pieces. When I dropped it, it's made of like porcelain glass kind of. And it kind of just exploded everywhere. So I glued it. But yeah, the real nuke actually is like super detailed. Just don't drop it. Bottle opener. But I did a 3D printed um, automatic knife. That's one of my videos I did earlier. Avenger toy. I could do that. Um, bottle opener. I did a bottle opener a little bit ago. Actually, I have that right here on the wall too. So this is the bottle opener. And this actually is a really practical one. I think I printed this like in an hour. But you just put this like right over the bottle and it opens right up. But that one was super useful. 3D printed cannon. I think I did a Lego cannon like two months ago. Yeah, that video actually performed really well, a surprise, because it was kind of a simple like Lego video. Web shooter. I would I could try to do that. I have to figure out like how to make something shoot out of the web shooter. So might take some time to figure that out. 
Um, there's a YouTuber I know called Jake Laser. He actually sells his own product, so you can check that out. But he makes like a, uh, it's like a little toy that shoots out like, I think it's like a, a web fluid or something. 3D printed heart. I might have trouble finding a real heart to compare. That might be a problem legally. 3D printed mini ships. Are you talking about like warships or what type of ships are you talking about there? Yeah, I could, I was thinking about doing like a 3D printed battleship game. And if I did that, I could like 3D print the little um, battleships to compare with one another. But again, I just have to get around to doing that. It's on the list. But I do have the Hot Wheels uh, toy on the list. So I'll probably do that sometime this week when I get a chance. 3D printed hand grenade. Yeah, so that one, like you see it right down there. <laughs> That's the hand grenade right there. And I have the real one. Let me see if I can find it right here. So this is the real one we compared. And it's just an airsoft one basically, but we compared it with that one right there. And that was a fun video. I think a guy on Thingverse made that model, but it's really fun because like it has a little spring in it. So when you release the toy, it kind of just pops open. 3D printed mask. Um, I don't think I've done that yet. So yeah, so that mask right there, that's part of the 3D printed human video where I printed like a robot face. And that's just like one part of it. So if you go watch that video, you'll see there's like eyes and like the head moves and it's a really complex video. 3D print a clamp. Okay, Edwin. Yeah, I can try that. I don't think I've done that yet. I can definitely look into that. Do I have a PowerBook G4? Um, unfortunately, I don't have any Macs right now. I have a um, I have an Alienware laptop and I have a custom built desktop computer that I made a while back. And I think I'm streaming on a Dell G series laptop, which is basically like the cheaper, I think, Alienware line. I love the Nerf gun video. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so I did the world's largest Nerf gun and then I have the world's smallest, which actually I have the little one. This is the, the little model. So this is basically the miniature of what I made for the world's largest, which let me see a little focus. Okay, I think, I don't know why my camera's not focusing. Okay. Yeah, this one's really cool. You can take it apart, all that fun stuff. But yeah, if you guys can check it out, check out the world's biggest Nerf gun video. That's up on my channel right now. 3D printed chicken nugget memes. Yeah, I haven't really done that many memes. I've done like the nuke meme, which is kind of funny. Um, I'm part of the live. Yes, you are. 3D printed book. I could do that. I just have to figure out like how to print the pages if I have pages in the book. Hi, Carlos. What's up? Yeah, I want to do more practical stuff. Like I saw one guy, he made like an Etch-a-Sketch, which was kind of cool. So maybe I'll do that in a video. But I think the more like real stuff you print that's actually practical, the more useful it is. Um, the more people kind of like that content, I think. There we go. Little scope. But yeah, no, I have a pretty big list of just everything. 3D printed ring. I think Emily, the engineer, did a lawnmower blade in her video. That was pretty interesting. I think she tried to mow a lawn with um, a 3D printed blade, which is kind of funny. So go check her out if you guys haven't seen her stuff before. She does some cool stuff. Oh, and actually she did a knife video. Like I Googled or I searched on YouTube 3D printed knife. And she did a knife video kind of like this. So go check that out too. She has some really cool stuff over there. What's up, heading out? Okay, I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. It worked for about 10 seconds. 
Yeah, I don't remember what happened, but yeah, it probably wouldn't last so long because those lawnmower blades move so fast. I think structurally it would just break apart because of the force pulling against it. It's a lot. <laughs> can you say my name, bro? I don't think I can say that name. You got like letters and numbers. You got everything in there. Use a flexible PLA to make a weed cutting wire. Um, yeah, no, I mean, I think if you just use PLA filaments, it probably would work just as is because PLA is kind of like the same consistency of a weed whacker blade. So maybe if you just like put that in a weed whacker, it might work a little bit. Um, hello, what's your nickname? Uh, my name's just Michael. You can call me Mike, but that's the name of my channel right now, just Michael. But yeah, I might do that later. I want to do more practical stuff in my longer videos. So like I said, next video is the night video. I want to do some more tools in upcoming videos because I think that's more interesting. Like if I'm watching a video, I think it's kind of interesting to see like, oh, how would this perform like a real world situation if I had to use it? What's up? You're in Thailand. That's awesome. Have I ever been to Cancun in Mexico? Uh, no, but I like to go sometime. It looks really pretty over there. What 3D printer do I use? So I started off with an Ender 3D printer. That's what you see in my early YouTube short videos. And then I use a Creality um, V2 printer for most of my bigger prints. And currently I use the Bamboo Carbon 3D printer. But if you're just getting into 3D printers, you don't have to spend a lot of money. Like if you get an Ender 3D printer, it's like $120 on Amazon. And that's really all you need to get started. Johnson, I'll catch you later. Thanks for stopping by. Uh, okay, Bamboo P1, that's a good one. I have the Carbon, which I think is similar to that. It just has like a few upgrades to it. But yeah, if you have the money, Bamboo makes a really good printer. They're really fast. They usually don't have that many problems. I had a couple issues with their, uh, they have an automated filament feeder. I think it's called an AMS. Occasionally, if you don't print for a while, sometimes you'll get jams in that automatic feeder. But honestly, if you print a lot, you really shouldn't have that many issues with it. Yeah, so okay, Hex, you're saving up for a Bamboo Lab. Yeah, I think you'll be really happy with it. Bamboo Lab, like, it's awesome because it has, you can basically self-diagnose it. So if you have an issue with it, it'll tell you on the screen, like, hey, you need to, like, fix the, you need to put oil on the, the rails or something because it's not working right. It'll tell you, like, exactly what the problem is. So that's kind of cool. And Ender, yeah, Ender 3 is a really good printer, too. I have, I think, one of those right now that's really good. But... I think, yeah, people get confused. They think like 3D printers are super expensive. They're not. Um, you can spend a lot of money on them, but honestly, they're just as expensive as the normal like paper printer right now. Okay, Cooper. Yeah, no, like the bamboos are awesome. <laughs> I just wish they would print like slightly bigger like build volumes. That's my only complaint, but honestly, it's not that big of a deal. I think, I think eventually once they get everything like nail down will probably make a bigger printer that's really expensive so hopefully i can get in on that Whew. um what print is taking the longest to make so i was working on a car bill for a while that took like i think six months to print that car out um yeah that, that took a while we had to split it up into multiple sections and it just took forever do i use acid pla I don't know, honestly, I just use the generic PLA filament. Um, I do use PLA plus occasionally when I need like a lot of strength or ABS. Um, that would be nice. Yeah, now there's a, so when you get to like the super size printers, cause I've looked into this, it's kind of a problem because when you get really big, like say you get like a three foot by three foot printer, you run out of filament because usually you can buy filament in like these one kilogram spools. So you have to either order a bunch of filament, which kind of is hard to source sometimes in like certain colors. So honestly, until you like, unless you get to an industrial size printer where they kind of use pellets to print like super big stuff, it's really difficult to kind of get like a medium to super big printer because you're running out of filament like every day or so 
and you have to keep filling it up and hopefully like it aligns perfectly so you don't have to ruin your whole print what's up you're from india that's awesome um pet g is a type of filament it has different properties from pla let me just look this up because it's been a minute i think it's just a more durable filament though but let me look this up so i don't tell you the wrong thing okay pet g okay it's it's good for chemical resistance durability and manufacturing so basically it's a more durable filament so if you're gonna like sell a print you need it to be like chemically resistant so i don't know maybe you made a part for a car and maybe there's gonna have gasket on it that would be a good filament to use for that there are 3d printed houses yeah i was looking into this um zach from cherry ricks everything did a really cool video covering i think 3d printed houses and i would like to do a video covering that one day but basically once you get that big they're dealing with um, a lot of equipment because most of those printers print like in a concrete like material so you need multiple people to like watch the print you have to like have the temperature right you have to have like the right moisture level for the the concrete to set right so it's a cool technology but it's not like hands off you have to be there monitor it and basically when like you get to a door frame you gotta stop the print put the the frame in place and then continue it so it is cool but it would be cool one day to get to a point where you could just show up to a job site hit print and walk away um, we're not there yet. I think one day we will be, but that'd be a really cool technology if they could get it there. Does 3D printed stuff melt in sunlight? No. Well, I take that back. It depends. So if you use, say, like um, PLA or ABS, um, especially PLA, like say you leave PLA in a car overnight, the heat from the car will actually start to warp it. So if you do work in extreme like temperatures, it can affect your prints. Um, usually if you're gonna print something for outdoor use, you wanna use like a harder material. So yeah, it's something you gotta take into consideration. Uh, what's up from India? That's awesome. Yeah, when you deal with like stuff for outdoor use, there's a lot of filaments on the market you can use, but usually you need printers that print at a much higher temperature. So. That's the one thing we're getting like a more expensive printer would kind of benefit you because you can print like more exotic materials for like those extreme situations. But yeah, that's a good question. But if you're doing like say normal stuff, like my stuff is all PLA. It's like just for toys and stuff. You can get away with PLA because this stuff will last a long time. If you get in water and it gets wet and it might start to break down, but if you just keep it inside, it should last like forever. But yeah, no, if you have any other 3D printed questions, hit me up. I know a lot of my audience probably knows a lot about 3D printers, but some people are new here or they want to know more. Uh, 3D printed face mask. I could do that. We have the one like looks like the purge mask right there that I did a while back, but I could do a face mask. I thought it'd be funny if I did uh, 3D printed solar eclipse glasses, but it just has like holes in them like your eyes get like burned or something It'd be funny 3d printed face mask yes i can look into that um are you talking about like the the filter face mask like the 3m face mask or just like a a halloween face mask because you could definitely do the halloween face mask if you do the like the filtered one you might have issues trying to like get that to work 3d printed knuckles i can look into that i know some states are really um technical when it comes to like weapons and stuff i did sunglasses so if you look back on my wall right here let me grab this quick so these are the the sunglasses that i did a while back and these are kind of i'm not sure if you've seen eskimo sunglasses but basically they're glass with like little tiny like slits built into them but all this does basically limits the light that gets to your eyes. So if you do wear this, it is like slightly darker, which is kind of cool. But these are like my real sunglasses. You can kind of see the difference there. Yeah, so they're very similar. I mean, you could wear them in a pinch, probably wouldn't be the best option, but if you're out of everything, it does work. 
Yeah, I had one request, I think, for like a 3D printed um, welding mask, which that wouldn't be a good idea because you'd hurt your eyes. Do 3D printers use a lot of energy? Um, not really. Like initially when you start 3D printing, you'll have to heat up the uh, the nozzle of the printer and then you'll have to hit, hit like heat up the print bed. But after that, most printers have an energy safe mode or energy efficiency mode where things will cool down. So it really is not too bad depending on what you're trying to print. It's not crazy. I haven't made the airless basketball just yet. I've made um, a ping pong ball, like a little ping pong, which I don't know if I have it there or not, but I made like a little ping pong ball that you could um, bounce. But I'll probably do that next. I'll probably work on making the 3D printed basketball down the road. I see a lot. Well, I think Nike, the Nike basketball is like, what, $2,000, which is crazy. Like, let me pull the picture of that quick. 3D printed basketball. Yeah, I was really surprised because I don't know why they could justify it costing that much. Okay, yeah, here, here's a picture of it. Well, this is a print. You can kind of see it's like, yeah. I don't know why that would cost $2,000. It's kind of crazy. 3D printed lobster. Yeah, I don't know if I could eat that though. That could be a funny print though. There is a chocolate 3D printer, which I think I mentioned before, but that one would be cool. It's basically like an add-on for your printer, but it like heats up chocolate and prints with it. And I want to get one. I think it's like $500 for the kit though. So maybe down the road I can get that. But there was um, a guy on YouTube, he makes 3D printed candy well, he, no, sorry. He makes a mold for the candy that he makes. So he prints off like this really cool design, like a giant strawberry. And then he casts a negative of that to make a mold. And then he's able to get this really cool, like candy that looks like a giant strawberry. It's pretty cool. Edwin rules. I made a video about 3d printing lobster. Oh yeah. Go check that out. So hex 3d prints made that video. So check the lobster video out. Uh, what type of 3d printer right now i use a uh, bamboo labs carbon 3d printer but like i said before you don't need that especially if you're starting out there's like an ender 3d printer that you can get off amazon really cheap um <laughs> you wasted money on active volcanoes 3d printed versus 3d printer yeah you could do that i mean it would be a long video because I have to like make a 3D printer and then like put it together and test it. So it would be a long video, but that could be a funny video as well. Yeah, there's um, this thing called metal 3D printing, which I want to get eventually, but you can actually print like automotive parts and like actual metal pieces. But the only problem with that is like $20,000 and it takes up like a ton of space. Like it would probably take up this whole back wall, the whole machine. So. I'm not quite ready for that just yet, but you know, maybe down the road, 3d printed computer. Okay. Somebody's getting banned, bro. Yeah. We try to keep it child safe around here. Uh, 3d printed computer. I did a mini computer. Where is it at? Oh yeah. Right here. So this is like the little mini computer I did a while back. And if you search for it, it, um, let me see if I can find it here. Um, let's see. Yeah. If you go search on my channel, you can actually find the original video. So go check that out. And that one's pretty cool. So I had to remove some people from the chat. Eventually, I want to get moderators for chat to keep it safe, but I'm working on that. Um, what inspired you to start this channel? Uh, so if you go back to my early videos, I started doing uh, 3D printed cloud. No, sorry. It was just I made a cloud that changed colors. And I think I saw that off of like YouTube. Somebody else made one. But I've always been making stuff growing up, and I started filming my projects kind of just for fun. 
And then when I started doing the bigger projects, I started thinking about like, okay, let's make this an actual like good YouTube video. <laughs> so I think it kind of happened over time. Like the first couple of years of my channel, if you go way back, the videos are terrible. I'm still working on the videos now, but I just kept getting like slightly better over time. And I think that's how most channels work. Like if you go back to the beginning, they're pretty rough. And then every year, like they fix stuff, they get better, they figure out like lighting and stuff. So I think it just takes time to develop a good channel. But yeah, short story is like, I like to make stuff and that's kind of like why I have like all these random builds on my channel. Let's see. 3D printer record. Um, I have a few records right now. So I have a few Guinness records behind me for like different builds. 3D printed mechanical pencil. Um, yeah, I haven't done that yet, but I'll definitely start doing more um, practical builds like that. How did I get the Guinness World Records? So if you go on my channel, you'll see, um, I think that one right there is the fastest Nerf gun. I made that video, I think six months ago. And then I made the world's largest Nerf gun, which is actually based off of um, this gun right here, except it's like 12 feet big in that video. And then my third record is the world's largest Xbox. So go check those videos out if you haven't seen them. Oh, thank you. Yeah, the Xbox, that was a fun one. Honestly, that build, the hardest part of that build was like getting that to Texas because at the time I was in Alabama. So I had to drive the Xbox from Alabama to Texas, film with um, the ZHC team, which was fun. And then I had to drive that to Atlanta and then I had to go back home. So most of that video was just me traveling, which really wasn't even on camera. But I was thinking about doing more of the like supersized builds down the road. I've taken a little bit of a break because that takes a lot of time to do those builds. And I've kind of done a lot. Like I've done the, the giant Nintendo Switch. I've done the Xbox. So I think ZHC has the PS5 record. So I don't want to take that from him. I love the world. Yep, we saw that. Um, but I was thinking about maybe doing like a giant Wii or like, uh, I think there's like the steam deck, which is like a giant, uh, well, it's not a giant console, but I was thinking about supersizing it potentially. Have I seen the giga storm? Um, is that a PC? Maybe. Let me look that up quick. Let's see. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, I think, is that a game console? Let's see here. What's up, Decoy? Yeah, I was showing them some of the prints. Guys, go check out Decoy's channel. He's got a really cool channel. Yeah, we got the 3D printed knife over here. And I pulled a lot of stuff off the wall. We have the, the glasses and... Basically, it's like a show and tell right now. So I have to put a lot of stuff back on the wall once I finish up this live. Oh, it's a huge, oh, okay, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, Decoy, I was talking to the chat, but we need to get some moderators. We had a couple of people we had to ban. <laughs> um, what is your most unique 3D printed product? Well, I'm not selling anything right now. I am working on a product to sell. But I don't know, probably unique product. I mean, there's a lot of weird stuff I've made, like maybe maybe the toothbrush that's kind of like strange, I guess. But a lot of these models I download, so most of the stuff I don't make. Like a lot of the stuff is just existing and I print it and compare it. A couple things like this arrow, I made this myself, but most of the stuff I just print from online files. Yeah, guys, go check out Decoy. He has a really cool channel, Decoy Voice. Um, what is the most 3D printed product? But yeah, guys, I'm probably going to end the stream because it's been an hour, but come back Thursday. I'm trying to stream Tuesday and Thursday around seven o'clock my time. And that's the new schedule unless something weird happens. And I'm going to try to upgrade my camera. So my main camera is right behind me. I just need to buy a special cable so I can live stream that to my computer. Right now I'm using a cheap webcam. So next week, the video quality should be a lot better and I'll probably have a different background. So log in next week and we'll have a much better streaming setup, but thanks everybody for stopping by. I'll see you guys next week. Bye.